Okay, so strap in because we're going deep on this one. The 4K Blu-ray release of Deadpool and Wolverine. You sent in a whole bunch of stuff, reviews and tech specs and all the special features. And basically, you want to know, is it worth it? Should you add this to your collection? Well, let's find out. I got to say, uh, from what you sent in this movie sounds wild, like a completely bonkers, meta-filled ride. You've got Deadpool going through a midlife crisis, selling used cars of all things, and then bam, the world needs saving again. I know, right? Selling used cars. What a come down for a guy like Deadpool. Totally. It's like this hilarious contrast right. between like normal everyday life and this crazy superhero stuff. Mm -hmm. And to make things even weirder, they throw in Wolverine pulled from a whole other universe. Oh, yeah, a whole multiverse thing. I mean, it's everywhere these days, right? But I'm curious to see how they make it work in this story. Me too. Of course, it wouldn't be a Deadpool movie without some serious jabs at the big guys. From what I'm seeing in these reviews, they don't hold back taking shots at Disney and the MCU and pretty much everything. It's like Deadpool's always winking at the audience, you know, poking fun at the whole superhero thing. But it sounds like that kind of humor is what divided the critics. Yeah, it seems like people either loved it or hated it. I mean, the box office numbers don't lie. Highest grossing R-rated movie ever. <laughs> but critics were all over the place. Some thought it was hilarious and some just found it exhausting. Yeah, that blue-ray.com review I saw. They compared the movie to Ryan Reynolds' cell phone commercials, which I guess is a pretty good comparison. <laughs> yeah, you either love that style or you don't. And speaking of that blue-ray.com review, let's dive into the technical stuff, because I know that's what you're really interested in. From what I'm reading, the 4K transfer is amazing, especially the detail on the suits. They really pop in this format. Oh, wow. So you can like see every little detail, like every stitch and every scratch on the metal. Pretty much. The reviewer even included some screenshots comparing the 4K to the regular Blu-ray, and the difference is pretty noticeable. Especially with the Dolby Vision HDR, it really brings out the colors. So visually, it sounds pretty incredible. But what about the audio? How does it sound? From the reviews I've seen, it's top-notch. Both the Dolby Atmos on the 4K disc and the DTS HD Master Audio on the Blu-ray disc. People are praising the immersive sound effects and the dialogue is crystal clear. That's awesome. I can just imagine those fight scenes, all that clanging metal and Deadpool's snarky one-liners. It's gonna sound amazing with a good sound system. For sure, and don't even get me started on the special features. We're talking a full-on buffet of bonus content here. Oh yeah, I saw that. So what kind of goodies are we getting? Well, first up, both discs come with a commentary track featuring the director, Sean Levy, and you guessed it, Ryan Reynolds himself. Ryan Reynolds doing commentary. That's got to be hilarious. I bet he's got some great stories from behind the scenes. Um, I'm sure of it. But that's just the beginning. The Blu-ray disc is packed with featurettes, like behind the scenes looks at specific scenes. There's one called Finding Madonna about the big finale. You know, the one with all the Deadpools running around? Oh, yeah, that sounds insane. How did they even film that? It was apparently a logistical nightmare. But this featurette goes into all the details, like how they use motion control cameras and all that. I love those kinds of behind the scenes insights. Me too. They also have one called Practical Approach, all about the production design. Oh, that's cool. It's always interesting to see how they create these worlds. Right. And there's one called Loose Ends, The Legacy Heroes, which I'm guessing explores all those surprise cameos. Oh, yeah, those. I'm curious to see how they fit into the story. Me too. <laughs> And of course, they wouldn't leave out Wolverine. There's a whole featurette just about him. Makes sense. He's such a fan favorite. I'm really curious to hear what they have to say about bringing him back after, well, you know. Yeah. It'll be interesting to hear their reasoning behind that. And of course, no special features section would be complete without the classic gag reel and deleted scenes. Oh, yeah. Got to have those. Always <laughs> good laugh. Totally. So, yeah, this Blu-ray is jam-packed with bonus content. It's like they really wanted to give fans the whole experience. Now, here's something I'm really curious about, this whole Disney paradox thing. You know, we've got Disney famous for their family-friendly stuff, and then they release this R-rated superhero movie. It's kind of a weird fit, don't you think? It is, and the movie itself even jokes about it. Like, Deadpool's constantly poking fun at Disney's squeaky clean image, which makes you wonder if they're oh with this. Why are they still so hesitant to release some of their older stuff? Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking about Song of the South. It's been locked away in the Disney vault for years yeah. because of its controversial content. So it's like, what are their standards? What's okay and what's not? Yeah, it's a really interesting question. It makes you think about what Disney considers acceptable, especially now with streaming and all that. And there's one more thing that really caught my attention. The review mentioned that a key part of the movie 
actually depends on something that happened in the Loki series on Disney Plus cover. That's kind of a big deal, right? It is. It's like they're expecting you to have done your homework before watching the movie. So we've got a lot to unpack here. The special features, the Disney paradox, and this whole question of the MCU becoming too interconnected. Right. So stay tuned for part two of this deep dive, where we'll really dig into all those topics. We'll explore those special features in more detail, and we'll try to figure out what it all means for fans of the MCU and whether this 4K Blu-ray is worth adding to your collection. All right, so we're back and ready to dive deeper into that Deadpool and Wolverine 4K Blu-ray. Last time, we kind of got a taste of the movie itself mm. and talked about those tech specs and the whole Disney thing. But now let's really dig into those special features, starting with that commentary track with the director and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah, that commentary track. I'm well, definitely looking forward to that one. Knowing Ryan Reynolds, it's going to be a wild ride, probably a mix of actual insights and just completely random jokes and tangents. Yeah, it's like getting a glimpse behind the curtain. Yeah. Hearing those stories straight from the source. Totally. But the commentary is just the beginning. There are tons of featurettes, too, like one called Finding Madonna, which focuses on that crazy finale huh? with all the different Deadpools. Oh, yeah, that scene. It looked insane. I can only imagine how difficult it was to film. Apparently, it was a logistical nightmare. But this featurette breaks it all down. The motion control cameras, the visual effects, all the planning that went into it. That's awesome. I love seeing how they pull off these big scenes. Me too. There's also one called Practical Approach which is all about the production design. Oh, cool. That's something that often gets overlooked. But it's so important for creating the look and feel of the movie. Exactly. And the production designer on this film, Reed Chan, he did an incredible job. This featurette really showcases his artistry. Then there's Loose Ends, The Legacy Heroes, which I'm guessing is all about those surprise cameos. Yep. It delves into who those characters are mm -hmm. and how they fit into the overall MCU. It's like a little history lesson. I'm definitely intrigued by that. It seems like those cameos might be more than just fan service. Right. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say about it. And of course, there's a whole featurette dedicated to Wolverine. It makes sense. Got to give the fans what they want. I'm curious to hear how they justify bringing him back. Yeah. After that ending in Logan... It's a bold move to bring him back. This featurette explores his history. And why they decided to bring him back for this movie. You know, we can't talk about Deadpool without talking about the humor. And there's a featurette called Deadpool's Fun Sack 3. I don't even know what to expect from that one. It's classic Deadpool. A mix of jokes, behind the scenes antics, and even a PSA about testicular cancer. Only Deadpool could pull that off. Seriously, it's that mix of humor and heart that makes him such a unique character. But let's be real, what everyone's really waiting for is the gag reel yeah. and the deleted scenes. Oh, yeah. Got to have those. Always a good time. So basically, this Blu-ray is loaded with extras. It seems like they really went all out. They did. It's more than just watching a movie. It's like getting a backstage pass to the whole production. Now let's circle back to that Disney paradox we talked about. This whole thing of Disney releasing an R-rated Deadpool movie it just feels so out of character for them. It does, right. Like, they're known for their family-friendly image. But then they put out this movie, which is full of violence and swearing and all sorts of stuff. And it's not just that they released it. It's that they're still holding back other movies like Song of the South mm -hmm. because of his controversial content. So it's like, what's the difference? What makes one acceptable and the other one not? Yeah, it's a tough question. And there's probably no easy answer. But it makes you think about Disney's priorities and what they're willing to release especially in today's world, with streaming and all the different ways people consume content. It's definitely a conversation worth having, but there's another layer to this whole Disney thing mm -hmm. that we need to address. Remember how the review mentioned that the key plot point in the movie actually depends on something that happened in the Loki series. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like they're expecting you to have watched that show yeah. before watching the movie. Which raises a lot of questions, like, is that fair to viewers? Should a movie be able to stand on its own? Or is it okay for them to rely on knowledge from other sources? It's a tricky situation. On the one hand, it can create this really immersive experience for fans who are invested in the whole MCU. But on the other hand, it can be really overwhelming for casual viewers. Exactly. It's like you need a spreadsheet yeah. to keep track of all the different movies and TV shows. And it's not just about keeping up with the stories. It's also about the financial commitment. You need streaming subscriptions, cable packages. It all adds up. So it's a lot to ask of fans, both in terms of time and money. Which brings us to the big question. Is this 4K Blu-ray worth it? That's the million-dollar question, isn't that it? It is. And we're going to tackle it head-on 
in the final part of our deep dive, we'll weigh the pros and cons and try to help you decide if this release is right for you. Okay, so we're back for the final round of our Deadpool and Wolverine deep dives. We've covered a lot of ground, right. the movie itself, the tech specs, those special features, and that whole Disney thing. And now it's time to face the music. That elephant in the room. This whole thing about the movie relying on knowledge from the Loki series. Right, like you need to have watched that show to fully understand this movie. Which is kind of a big ask, don't you think? It is, yeah. It's like Marvel saying, hey, you want to get the full picture, you better be watching everything we put out. It's almost like a loyalty test. Yeah, some people might see it that way. But you need a membership card to fully appreciate the MCU. I mean, some might argue that it's a good thing. Like it creates this really rich, interconnected world for fans. But for others, it could feel like a barrier to entry, like you're being punished for not keeping up with everything. Exactly. Imagine being a new fan, sitting down to watch this movie, and suddenly you're completely lost because you haven't seen some random TV show. Yeah, that wouldn't be a great experience. It's like being thrown into the deep end without knowing how to swim. And it makes you wonder about the future of the MCU. Can they keep expanding this universe forever without alienating casual fans? It's like building a tower higher and higher. Right. Eventually, it's going to become unstable. Right. At some point, it's going to reach a breaking point. And it's not just about the story itself. It's also about the sheer amount of content. Oh, yeah. It's a huge time commitment. Ooh. And a financial commitment, too. Streaming subscriptions, cable packages, buying all the movies. It all adds up. So it's a lot to ask of fans. Which brings us back to that original question. Is this 4K Blu-ray worth adding to your collection? Well, that depends on what you, on uh, what kind of fan you are. Okay, so if you're a diehard Marvel fan, someone who's seen every movie and every TV show, then yeah, this release is probably a no-brainer. The technical quality is fantastic, the special features are awesome, and the movie itself is classic Deadpool. But if you're more of a casual fan, someone who just enjoys the occasional superhero flick. Then you might want to think twice. Because this movie really leans into that interconnectedness. It's a sign of things to come. The MCU is only going to get more complex and more interwoven. So it really comes down to your personal preference. Do you want to be all in on this ever-expanding universe? Or do you prefer a more standalone approach? It's a tough choice. It is. But hopefully this deep dive is giving you the info you need to make that decision for yourself. We've explored the movie, the tech specs, the special features. We've talked about the Disney paradox, and we've grappled with this whole interconnectedness thing. So no matter what you decide, we hope you've enjoyed this journey and learned something along the way. And hey, if you're ever curious about something, don't hesitate to send us your questions. We're always here to help you dive deep. Until next time, happy watching.